Ho ho, it is video number eight, everybody, and okay, what did we see in that last video about being sick in the stomach if you're in a really tough spot, such as a muddy area? <laughs> what am I referring to, Miriam? Yes, don't get too queasy when you're in a quagmire yeah a messy situation uh, real or figurative as we say okay queasy quagmire well let's click off and come down and get rolling for asri would buy us jakarta souvenirs if she only had a thousand dollars more hand charge yes right away yep charge you're good at that spotting only and then repositioning it okay to where it makes more sense okay asri would buy us jakarta souvenirs if she had only a thousand dollars more Thomas's downfall told a tale of too much lateness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Randy says tardiness, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thomas was tardy again. Yeah. Oh, he went into a tailspin at work because of his tardiness. Thomas's tailspin told a tale of too much tardiness. Teresa neatened Tammy's highly valued playhouse built in a tree. Ho oh, ho, Julia, you've told me that you had one. Yeah, as a little girl, a tree house, right? Okay, how about up top here? tidied, yeah, tidied up, neatened, and treasured, yes, your treasured treehouse. Teresa tidied up Tammy's treasured treehouse. What? Alliteration there, Miriam. Consonants, okay? A good little tongue twister. Teresa tidied up Tammy's treasured treehouse. It looks like our blueberries are riper than our blackberries. Oh, and it's Marla. Oh, she says, like, like. Yeah. To be replaced by what, Marla? Correct. As if. And if you can replace like with as if, you have to do it. Okay? It looks as if our blueberries are riper than our blackberries. Okay. It looks as if our blueberries are riper than our blackberries. Tuesday, Talia walked heavily on two of Teddy's toy vehicles for hauling. Ho oh, ho, Miriam. The, yep, another alliteration, a tongue twister with the T's. Oh, walked heavily on, trampled, and then, of course, yes, trucks. Tuesday, Talia trampled on two of Teddy's toy trucks. Another one here with T's. I see them already. Okay. Terry went from place to place 12 days to find Tony's horribly tiny turtle. Oh, <laughs> Julia traveled terribly. There you go. Terry traveled 12 days to find Tony's terribly tiny turtle. Yeah, these alliterations perfect to 
memorize and recite over and over for pronunciation practice, okay? Why is there a sales tax on chocolate candy? That seems wrong, George, doesn't it? Yeah, that we should be taxed on chocolate candy? No, it's, it's one of life's necessities, right, George? Yeah. Why is there a sales tax on chocolate candy? The boss, oh, we just had the, the big cheese. Okay, and here, Marcel, top banana, another idiom for the boss. Okay, the head honcho, the big cheese, the top banana. Okay. Whenever I have sore knees, I jump in a bathtub full of cold water. Ho ho, Asa. Yep, good. Good spotting it right away. When you see in, determine if you could change it to into. And if you could, if into would sound fine, you must make the change. Okay, here it is, into. Whenever I have sore knees, I jump into a bathtub full of cold water. Terry's large male cats both took triple falls today. Well, more alliteration with the T, Miriam. Oh, Tom Cats and Tumbles. Right. Good one, Miriam. Terry's Tomcats both took triple tumbles today. Timothy tries to track the unimportant times and heat levels. Oh, <laughs> Mariana, temperatures, yes, temperatures, and trivial up above it there. Yeah, trivial. The whole thing, Mariana. Timothy tries to track the trivial times and temperatures. Ooh, what is that there on the left? He has, right, Mariana? Stopwatch for timing things. Why have we had so many incidences of deadly tornadoes this spring. Oh, we've had that one, and we're going to have it, everybody, again and again and again. Yeah, we don't want incidences, just incidents with the T, okay? Why have we had so many incidents of deadly tornadoes this spring, okay? Mm. As I said earlier, all over America, people are making this mistake left and right, up and down, okay? Yeah, not incidences when they want incidents. Tristan's nails on the toes are, for a short time, neatly cut. Oh, nice sentence, George. Yes, toenails. Oh, and it's Miriam's favorite. Temporarily and trimmed. Yes. Let's have, George, let's have Miriam say it, could we? Good, Miriam. Good, good. Yeah. Tristan's toenails are temporarily trimmed. Yeah, temporarily. Tilly's team strongly defeated the three-time tournament takers. Ooh, oh, trounced, yes, yeah, strongly defeated, trounced, and tournament, yes, a series of games. Tilly's team trounced the three-time tournament takers. Yeah, a tournament, a series of games, okay? 
Is Como Lake clean enough to swim in? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This was the lake closest to me in my boyhood, and you couldn't swim in it. It was too dirty, okay? Is Como Lake clean enough to swim in now? Mm, I don't think so. Not yet. They're almost identical, okay? They're very much the same, very similar to each other. Or idiom man, huh. yes, they're two peas in a pod. Those two, man, are they look-alikes. They're two peas in a pod. When Sia taught in Munich, her car was different than the one she owns now. Ooh, there's the different than problem. Always changes to different from. Right, Julia. Different from. When Sia taught in Munich, her car was different from the one she owns now. Yeah, different from in place of different than. Honest Cedars usually understand extra but hidden motives. Oh, yeah, well, here they are, the, the ushers, yes. How about honest is upstanding, yes. The upstanding ushers understand ulterior motives. Mariana, good. Here you go. Upstanding ushers usually understand ulterior motives. Upper class referees get unusual nerve ailments. Ooh. Oh, referees, yeah. Also called umpires, right? And yeah, they can get ulcers, nerve ailments. Also ulcers in their stomachs, okay? Upper class umpires get unusual ulcers. Our athletic director is presently the head football coach as well. Oh, this is our first time for presently to be replaced by Marcelo. Currently, you're right, yeah. If currently fits in place of presently, you have to do it. Yeah, presently means in a few moments. Currently means going on right now. Our athletic director is currently the head football coach as well. If not, I bring a rain blocker, I'll, in the end, get wet. <laughs> yes, awkward with these definitions, Miriam, but uh, yes, unless umbrella and ultimately, right, here they are. Unless I bring an umbrella, I'll ultimately get wet. After the unrest in Ukraine, Ustinov untied his dog, okay? After the upheaval, okay, and unleashed is correct, Marla, unleashed. Ooh, look at that German shepherd there. After the upheaval in Ukraine, Ustinov unleashed his dog. Let's plant our flowers earlier than usual. Ooh, look at these beautiful pansies there on the right, everybody. Yeah, yeah. It's too early now, everybody, but okay, another few weeks we can plant pansies. Let's plant 
our flowers earlier than usual. Yeah, we couldn't this year, okay? Let's start serious negotiations, okay? Yeah, let's get on with it here. Let's uh, put our cards on the table. There's an idiom. And what about this one, Marcelo? <laughs> yes, let's talk turkey. Come on, let's talk turkey. Oh, and for discussion, a big ambition, a big goal, okay? You and your English learner friends can talk about that if you would. Not one of Mariana's friends has two pair of lavender high heels. Ooh. Oh, to, ooh, that's, he asked Julia, two pairs, yes. Yeah, two, yeah, well, two or more, plural, yeah, so two pairs. For whatever reason, people in America tend to say two pair of something, especially in the card game called poker. Yeah, it's actually two pairs. Veronica thought of as important very few justifications of destructive behavior. Oh, boy, here's a sentence with V's, Miriam. Yeah, valued, okay. Vindications, good, and violence, right. The whole thing, Miriam, here you go. Veronica valued very few vindications of violence. Valued vindications violence. Victoria won't turn around legal decisions Evil doing people violated. Oh. Well, Miriam, right back to you with the V's here. Oh, turn around. Reverse. Okay. Verdicts and villains. Okay. Victoria won't reverse verdicts, villains violated. By any chance, do you know the height of your church steeple? Oh, what's the mistake here? Ho, 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 ho. Yes, this is. Uh, uh. Yeah, also, Julia? Right, the word height doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, 1850? Yeah, okay, way back then, but not anymore. No longer the H at the end. It's just height. By any chance, do you know the height of your church steeple? Valerie's win soon lifted her into vast success. Oh, yes, George, victory, right? And vaulted, yeah, so here's Vaulting in sports, yeah. Vaulting over a bar, okay. Here they are, church. Victory, vaulted. Valerie's victory soon vaulted her into vast success. Victor's revenge might go against Virginia's rules. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's the Virginia in red there. Okay, well, the states are labeled, so I can't quiz you again, Mariana. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, oh, Mariana, vengeance, right, and violate. Victor's vengeance might violate Virginia's rules. How often should we sprinkle new sod? Who? Boy, I know I'm going to sprinkle 
sufficiently this spring. We, we did get new sod last fall, okay? How often should we sprinkle new sod? Not too often. We don't want to get the sod waterlogged. Under pressure to respond immediately. Oh, hey, Marcelo. Yes, on the spot. Oh, I'm on the spot now. Yeah. Uh, uh, IRS contacted me. Yeah, I'm on the spot. I have to respond right away. Ooh, and it's our last page for video number eight. Miriam and Randy like an hysterical joke, especially one of Teacher Don's. Oh, ooh, yes, that's the British thing, right, George? An hysterical? Well, yes, in London, England, well, then the H of hysterical wouldn't be sounded. It would be, just be hysterical. So there, it's correct to say an hysterical, but not here in America. We borrowed this from England, but it was a misborrowing because we say the H, so we need to say ah. Uh. Miriam and Randy like a hysterical joke, especially one of Teacher Don's. Yeah, the uh and thing. Yeah, we do it so that a vowel sound doesn't butt up against a vowel sound, and so that a consonant sound doesn't butt up against a consonant sound. The next sound is the key thing, as we'll be seeing when we review this again and again. Tom gets unsettled before the big car drawing of tickets for a prize. Oh, yes, a raffle, Randy. And, yeah, good one. Rambunctious. Yes. Tom gets rambunctious before the big car raffle. I love the gleaming forth of this morning's colorful arcs in the sky. Well, we know that one don't we, Julia? Rainbows, yes. And how about up above it there? Radiance is correct, Julia. I love the radiance of this morning's rainbows. Radiance, rainbows. The evils of slavery will be on my great-grandpa's conscious forever. Who is conscious, Marla? Yes, conscience. You've got to have that conscience word pronounced conscience. The evils of slavery will be on my great grandpa's conscience forever. The rednecks in let me start over. The rednecks' discrimination because of race really irritates the rest of us. Now, oh, racism, right, and rattles, yes, irritates the rest of us. Oh, I said rattles, no, better, rankles, yes, I forgot, rankles. Here. Do the run here for me, Asa. The rednecks racism really rankles the rest of us. I'd be extremely wrong, or it'd be extremely wrong, for us to tear down Lewis's rundown cottages. Oh, and right away, <laughs> He's, uh, he loves to say an optional higher class word for 
ramshackle or run down, dilapidated. Yes, these cabins are dilapidated, these cottages. Yeah, dilapidated, ramshackle, and oh, up top, Asa, radically. Yes, there you go. It'd be radically wrong for us to tear down Lewis's ramshackle cottages. Is it okay to feed lakeside ducks some popcorn? Ooh, look at this toddler there on the right feeding the ducks. Oh, that's a cute scene, huh? Yeah. Oh, is it okay to feed lakeside ducks some popcorn? Don't take on too big a project. Yeah, don't overdo it now. Don't, <laughs> Marcelo. Yes. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Don't bite off more than you can chew. And that was the end of video number eight. So it's uh, break time and snack time. Thanks for bringing those potato chips and popcorn, Miriam. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you soon, everybody, for video number nine. Bye-bye.